Hello and welcome to today's review. And today it's A Century of Storms by Alan Edward Roberts. A wonderful collection of short stories that I didn't know I needed to read until the journey began. Seductive tangible tales that transport on rafts of well-chosen words. A world away and yet close for the curious adventurer, the wide-eyed believer in all things possible, probable or part fantasy. You won't find frivolity here. There isn't a wasted word. Each has earned its place in that sentence and the paragraph, and in fact the entire page. Well-chosen words, carefully and precisely thought about to convey and move each story deep into your soul. As I started to read, I felt the pull of an invisible hand that compelled me to experience each quandary for myself. Will it heal a wound, light the way, or perhaps turn down some very strange dark lane towards something unimaginable? He's rugged and tender, Alan Edward Roberts. He pleases and teases as he shelters and carries you across the thorny gravel of an uncertain road. And then... When he thinks you're ready, he will lower you onto the road, onto that terrain to feel and experience the depth and dilemma. Before, once again, carefully, carefully of course, lifting you out of harm's way to travel onwards, just out of reach from the pain and the grief, clutching at memories as though they were your own. Once or twice, as the characters drifted past my window, I found myself wondering whether how I felt about each story was the desired intent of the author. You know, like, have I truly got it? Whether my understanding was aligned with Alan's. But that's the beauty of reading. We each, in isolation and with our own life experiences, take that journey and hopefully arrive at a similar destination. But whatever the truth, these stories will leave a mark, a scar and a strand of hope that won't easily fade. Alan Edward Roberts makes you glad to be a reader. He has laid down these profound stories for us to enjoy and it has given us some, well, more than enough for our imagination and to dream far beyond the page. It's a skill. He's clever. He's an author I think we need to get to know because he's different. And like I say, I think he's rugged. I don't know this. This is just my assumption. You know, uh, it's what you read between the lines. I could be completely wrong, but one day, maybe, I'll meet Alan. And he'll put me straight. But there we are. If you want a copy of this beautiful book, A Century of Storms, you can get it from Roadsong Books in Biddeford. Um, you can find them on the interwebly. Um, or you can support your local bookshop and go and order one of these. I'll be dead pleased with you if you did. So that would be lovely. Um, so it's a lovely book. And, it, you know, it really is. It's a little hardback. It's got a, a nice dust jacket on it which makes it you know quite posh but you know it's very touchy feely you know it's a great one for your collection uh i'm glad i've got it in my collection as well so it's lovely oh and by the way there's a little quote on the front here by mark mcdonald from the mail on sunday i mean this is good uh and it just simply says epic yet intimate there we are a three-word review, or you could read mine, which is a little bit longer. The choice is yours. Anyway, A Century of Storms, Alan Edward Roberts. Thank you very much.